Hello there. We're just about coming up to the halfway point of the month and already there are a number of places that have seen in excess of their July average rainfall, particularly across southern eastern England and the northeast of Aberdeenshire. Uh, leading the League of Misery is Loftus with well over double the July average rainfall and there's more to come in this week as well as we'll see in a moment. First of all, Sunday was another pretty cloudy day across eastern areas of England, eastern Scotland with a bit of rain around, all courtesy from the same area of low pressure that's been out in the North Sea throughout the whole of the weekend. But across southern and western areas we did see the cloud break up to give some spells of pleasant sunshine with temperatures in the warmest spots getting into the low 20s. Now it's all changed through Monday and Tuesday as the next area of low pressure slowly pushes across England and Wales to bring yet more rain. The first signs of that band of rain will be across Wales and southwest England with heavy rain developing here quite quickly through Monday morning with some rumbles of thunder probably around. The rain then extends into southeast England, reaching parts of the Midlands and East Anglia through the day. North of that, for Northern England, Northern Ireland and Scotland, we're looking at a largely dry day with some pleasant sunshine. And in the sunshine across these northern areas, it's going to feel quite nice with temperatures into the low 20s. But the rain for Wales and southwest England could be heavy enough to cause some localised surface water flooding. And through Monday night, the rain extends its way northwards and eastwards, still with some heavy downpours mixed in. Our temperatures Monday night hovering at around double figures, 12 to 14 degrees, tip, quite typically. For Tuesday, that area of low pressure is still not done with us. OK, it's gradually working out into the North Sea, but it looks like some of the very wettest parts of uh, England so far this month will see another dollop of rainfall here on Tuesday with the rain reluctant to pull out of the way. Further north, you could get a few showers coming into eastern Scotland, northeast England, maybe an isolated one for Northern Ireland. But on the whole, Scotland and Northern Ireland should have the best of the weather with some bright or sunny spells developing and temperatures Again, where the sunshine comes out up into the low 20s, it won't feel too bad. On into Wednesday, we see something we've not seen very much of this month. Look, it's an area of high pressure. This looks set to settle the weather down for a time. So for most of us on Wednesday, pencil in a dry day with plenty of sunny spells coming through. The winds are light and in the sunshine, we're looking at temperatures climbing up to 24 degrees Celsius in London. 24 is actually average for this time of the year, but it will feel warm in that strong July sunshine. Heading into Thursday, the high pressure is still trying to hang on across England, Wales, eastern areas of Scotland, but further west, we've got an Atlantic weather system bringing a return of wet weather to Northern Ireland and western and northern parts of Scotland. Temperatures here will be dropping just back into the teens, 17 or 18 degrees quite typically. But for East Wales, much of England, eastern Scotland, we should still see temperatures climb into the low 20s in the warmest spots. That area of high pressure, though, doesn't look like it's going to bring a big change to the overall weather pattern. Rather, it's just a little blip of drier, warmer weather. Because as we go into the following weekend, we see a return of Atlantic weather systems bringing rain or showers and a return of a rather familiar feel to the July weather with temperatures generally running a bit below average high teens to low 20s. So I think the main message in the week ahead is make the most of that dry, sunny and warm weather when it does come along briefly.